hardcore drive, the longest ride of my life. So I only showed up 58 minutes late, but we're here at the Raw Gear pop-up shop. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. There's a lot of people here. It's kind of sick, so, so yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, I'm here with Julia, Marissa. Right, we're having a good time. And I used Code Noel. Yeah, Code Noel. guys it's time for me to go but this was sick i get a little like i said i've said it a million times i get a little overwhelmed but like it was really really cool to meet everyone and yeah i love you guys this is not where i'm gonna end the video but yeah i love you guys what's up guys it's noelle here I'm back with another video i'm a little change of scenery i am back home in jersey because actually i really really needed a mental break Ooh, it's snowing it's snowing I haven't seen snow in a while. Anyway, it's really, really cold here. But yeah, I came back for real quick for a mental break because I was, I think I was going insane actually. Like I can't even, the way I would describe it is an existential crisis. You guys aren't gonna believe me, but like that's literally what it was. And it was scary as fuck. I'm still kind of dealing with it, but I'm like getting through. I'm doing the steps to get my mind back on track because I literally lost myself for a second. But yeah, we're getting back on track. Um, that's what I'm doing here at home, spending some time with family and such. Okay, um, I have a little announcement to make. I have some goodies. This is not even like all of them, but I am officially working with PE Science and I'm super excited because I've always loved their supplements. Like my family literally uses their supplements too. So we're all happy. We're all excited here. Look at this stuff I got. I can't wait to try all this protein because look at all these flavors. Like this is my thing. So yeah, code Noel is live. You can use my code for money off and to directly support me. I love you guys so much. I'm probably gonna make a shake right now with the protein, so. So yeah, before we go to the gym. And then after that, bagel time. Okay, whatever, my mom turned the camera off, but I like it. The hate pop one is good, it's sweet. I like sweet. And look how cute my cup is. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the gym and then, you know. Hey guys. Hey. So we just finished our workout, me and my mom, and um, we did a little, we did a little chest and tries, which I never, I don't really train chest and tries anymore because, well, first of all, I feel like I don't really need to uh, train chest too much. Wait, why? I literally can't say train chest. I can't say <laughs> it. I feel like I don't need to um, train it that much, just you know, because I'm a girl and stuff. And also, like my upper body gains muscle so fast, like as you can see by my arms and stuff, like, and my lower body doesn't, which means I need to train legs more than I do. But yeah, so yeah, we did that, which is good. And now I'm going to get a bagel. If you haven't had a Jersey or a New York bagel, um, I feel really bad for you. Yeah, I do, because bagels are like just so good. Like real bagels are just so good. Yeah, I got a little breakfast sandwich, so. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. Uh, later on, I'm gonna, I, I have a little treat for you guys. It's gonna be asking my dad questions you're too afraid to ask yours. Like, just like weird questions. It's gonna be funny. My dad's hilarious, so I'm excited about it. Hey guys, so like I said, we're, I'm doing a little segment with my father. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Shake their hands. So first we're gonna start off with a little get to know him. So like you, um, you guys like aren't shy. So. What's your name first? Steven. You want to say how old are you? That was mom's idea. I'm old. You don't need to know. He's much. old. 75? 76. And what do you do for a living? I have a food company. What's the food company? Gluten Libre. Gluten? It's actually a gluten free and plant based company. Okay, so today I'm going to be asking my dad some like uncomfortable, weird questions. I got this idea from another YouTube video, and the video was called Asking My Dad Questions You're Too Afraid to Ask Yours. I'm kind of nervous about these weird ones. Okay, should we start off a little later? Whatever you like. The first one Who's your favorite child? <laughs> You're all my favorite. I I, no okay, favorites. so basically he's saying me. Biggest pet peeve in the gym? Cell phones. When kids are on their phones. You're on your phone, you're a jerk off. <laughs> I just, if you're on your phone, you're not focused on your workout. So bye That's bye, it. go home. That's it, done. Go done. home, um, finish your set, you go on your phone. You're not, you're not focused on your body. You're wasting your time. We're getting a little deeper here. What drugs have you done? It would be easier to ask me what I haven't done. Oh, well, what haven't you done? <laughs> I haven't shot any heroin. That's or it. smoked heroin. 
So you've done Molly. I mean, back in Mike and our day, it was called Chasing the Dragon. So you've done, and done it. So you've done everything except terror. I've done a lot of things. Dad. But gosh. that I think you're old enough to know that. But um, only dabbled and experimented. I wasn't into drugs. What's your body count? I can't say that. Do you, do you even know it? I have a rough, a, a rough estimate. estimate. So basically, to answer one of my other questions, were you a boy? Yes, he was. I might. I have already know this. I already know this from his stories. The man was definitely a boy. <laughs> right, Mom? I have no. Yes. She says yes. He probably still is. He probably still is, Mom. Okay, okay. okay. Have you ever been arrested? <laughs> I knew the answer to that. But how many times? Uh, I've only been arrested probably three times. Oh, only three times? Can you say for what or no? Some of it was traffic. One time I was actually here when the cops came to our door. I remember yeah, well that dad. was that was I, well, I didn't even I didn't even count that one. That was child support, which was not true. Yeah, which was um, not his fault. It was actually really sad. It wasn't even it wasn't even true. It wasn't even true. But I was arrested once for um, warrants for traffic crap, and I was arrested once for um, for fighting, which I made a mess. I got away with that because it wasn't my fault. It was self defense. Okay, so um, this is goes along with a girl's question: ass or tits? Both. Both, Dad. I'm sorry, both. Both. So you you won't take it if a girl has no boobs and a butt. I didn't say that. So just both? Like you're not gonna pick? Okay, if I had to choose this or that, you're not gonna pick one? Because most guys. Okay. Now, if I most had. Most guys say ass. Okay. If I was out, which there was many times I was, and I had choices, multiple choice, <laughs> and I had to take A, B, or C, and of course I couldn't have B and C or A and C or whatever. It, you know, it, it, it all depends. Well, first, back in my day, most girls were thin. Back in his day. So yeah. it, it was different. So you, most girls already had a nice butt. Big boobs back. Back then? It was not very common. Okay, so he's an olden day guy, so. So, you might I might have gone for the bigger boobs. Okay. Because, you know, nice asses were, were very common. <laughs> cause no, cause nowadays every guy says ass and that's a fact. Like, it's like, like some guys will, some guys are more of a tits guy, but it's like rare that they, like most guys yeah, nowadays I mean, are go for I, the ass. I get that. It's a but, big thing. I was like. Thick thighs and a big butt. Big I also thing. was really fussy. I mean, I liked fussy. girls with really nice bodies. So they had to have like a little both. He's a fussy guy. So am I. Fussy girl. What's the worst thing you ever did when you were younger? Oh, I know some stories. It depends on what you consider bad. Well, what about that one story? Which one? I did a lot worse than that to, to, to other human beings. So that would be like, oh, so you're considering that a bad thing. But if someone started with me, I didn't consider that bad. He was a bar fighter. If you he was started a, bar fighter. a fight with me, you <laughs> got hurt. How long do you think it should be before a guy says, I love you? Or do you think it should just be when the time is right? Yeah, well, you gotta feel it. If you don't feel it, you're not gonna say it. Yeah. It's not something I said very often, so. You said, but, mom told me the story of I when, know, I said it to your mother, know, but that's was, different. No, but when you first said it to her and, and it was really cute, I actually thought it was really cute. You were like, sometimes I feel like you, you don't, you don't even, even like, like me. You don't even like me, and, she, and you were like, I don't like you, I love you. Mm, that's so cute. Yeah. No one said I love you to me. Emotional, damn it! <laughs> oh, I have. Okay, next question. What do you think about my boyfriend? What do you want me to say? No, what do you think about my boyfriend? I mean, I like him. He's a nice kid. I don't know if, uh, oh my God, if it's uh, perfection, but, you know, he doesn't tell you he loves you. How long are you together? Um, six months. Six months. Uh, maybe he's me. waiting for the right moment. You told me. Yeah, yeah you either. Yeah, um, no, I know. You either feel that yeah, or you, you don't. Yeah, you can't say if you don't feel it. It's fine. Exactly. It's all good. Okay. What advice would you give me about relationships? <sighs> don't get involved with boys, they're no good. Okay. What my dad told me from a very young age, don't <laughs> date boys, they're gross. Don't date dirty boys, that's what he always told me. But you know what? But if you like boys, that's okay. But I like boys, so. Just, uh. How do I know if a guy is the one? You know, it's, it's actually really simple. It is, I think it is too. But you know, because it's the person that like, you cannot live without, you always want to be with them. Mm -hmm. You don't get tired of them. And if you don't feel that, they, and nah, they treat it's not you the like, one. They have to treat you like a queen. And they have to treat you with the same respect. Yeah. And last question, last and final question. How do you feel that I have an OnlyFans? You know, it doesn't bother me. Because he knows I'm a good girl and I'm just trying to make 
a smart business decision and make that money. <laughs> That's right. And as long as you're not doing anything really like everyone's stupid on your own. Come here, page. mom. Yeah. Because people always say, oh, your parents must be proud. Like, they look what they raised. My parents are amazing parents and my parents just support everything I do and they believe in me like they've just they're just always like really like supportive and like want the best for me exactly. so they're gonna support what I think is right like yeah no not when I told them oh yeah I'm doing only my mom was like help no yeah. but then you know she got on the phone with my manager Brad and me and we explained what I was gonna do and how it was gonna go down and she was like you know what that is that is a good business decision yes. anyway but not even just that like people just always like comment down like oh your parents must be proud or look what you raised like you know what I'm doing great and just because I you know I post a booty pic who cares I'm like I'm confident in myself like uh, exactly I, I post booty pics all the time so it's not so bad <laughs> but yeah um that's just that message right there is just to the haters because you know what my parents do love me and they are proud of me and I love them so. absolutely you are very successful and we are proud of you yes and uh there's nothing else to be said about Laugh your way to the bank, as they say. <laughs> okay, guys. So that is going to be an end to this video with my dad. Well, thank you for having me. Of course. So now we know a lot more about him. Yeah, what do you want to see next? I might do another video with my dad before I go back to California. So leave a comment. Okay? Um, but I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I hope um, my dad didn't scare you guys too much because... He scares me a little bit with his stories, but yeah. I didn't tell any scary stories. <laughs> well, I did off camera, but not. Yeah, he, oh, he he was chatting it up off camera, that's for sure. I was yeah. like, okay, big guy. Anyways, love you guys so much. Code Noel on Raw Gear and Peace Science. Love you guys. Peace.